Welcome back everyone, Mate Talk. There is no Mate today. As you can see, the setup is completely different. I've got a bit of a surprise. I'll share with that in a minute. But first, an evening in Florence with Voice 1920. Now this is something that you would wanna, you wanna join us in. We're gonna be filming in Florence. We're gonna be filming in the historical store of Voice 1920. The brand was set up in 1920. We will have Simone Giovannini, an Italian, who's part of the brand is gonna be sharing. Now, that $30 to buy into the evening, you're gonna get samples. Now, the company have actually sent us the actual samples from the, the so we're not decanting anything is what I'm saying. So th this means that you'll have a chance to see the actual product in its packaging and everything else. That $30 you'll use as a credit on anything over $200. So you're spending money, but you're making money. You gotta spend money to make money money yeah something like that all right well i'm in sydney hence why the new setup that we've got here we've been filming at the santa maria novella store and uh, we had a big setup this morning if you haven't seen what we've been doing have a look at instagram have a look at have a look at my tiktok i, I don't know if this is a trend and i was told that i should do this so anyway have a look at the tiktok it's actually uh, that song has been playing in our heads all day long now I've been filming alongside a very good friend of mine. He's standing on the side here. I'd like to welcome you, Michael. This is Michael Marzano. I've always spoken about Michael Marzano, Michael Marzano. This is the man. Now, Hi guys. you have to understand, he is my sensei. So when it comes to perfume, and I'm not, I'm not joking, I've had said this to him, to his face, that the knowledge that Michael has on fragrance, the history, and actually I'll go one further. The things that I do on the channel is very much attributed to this man here. So, uh, do, but I do, I, I like Thank the you. way that you share things. And so I've adopted a lot of that on the channel. I know you want trademark money for it. I'll give you money one day, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> so what I wanted to do today is the last few weeks I've been, we've been talking about a fragrance notes that we love in perfumery. And I asked Michael if he wanted to join me and I invited him to share his favorite perfume note and then three fragrances that that yeah, sure. So what would it be? Thank you very much. Well, I mean, I've been working with fragrance for many, many years, and there is one standout raw material that keeps jumping back at me each time. And I think it comes back to my original love, which was Vetiver by Galan that I purchased. It was one of my first ever fragrances that I purchased when I got a job. And it, it, it really resonated with me, and I love the earthiness of vetiver and the incredible versatility of this raw material um, that's used in perfumery. It's just, How old were you when you bought that? I was 19 yeah. when I first purchased that's vetiver. That's locked into your brain now. Absolutely. It was one of my first great fragrance brand purchases right, right. with the original um, YSL Pour Homme. Right. And also Kouros. But that was intense. No, was it Kouros the intense one? Very animalic? No. The re yes, and it's, it's a really um, powerful right. aromatic fougere right, right, right. with sort of that rich woody right. uh, background as well. Right. So they were my first three fragrances. Right. And all of them contain vetiver. Right. And, you know, vetiver goes back six, seven thousand years, references to it in Ayurvedic India. Um, and, you know, some of the great vetiver obviously comes from India, but also from Indonesia, from Haiti in the West Indies. Mm. And it's this great earthy note that the oil is extracted from the rhizomes or mm. roots of the plant. Mm. So you get a greenness, but this sort of soil note that comes through, which I love. Didn't I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> Once Sorry, you get, I get so carried away. Once you get, but <laughs> see, I love this. This is the part that I love because it's more than just spray, smell, and blah, blah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's, you know, you want to know. All right, so what, what three fragrances did you Look, have for us? I have to say there are three standouts for me. Um, I love the Vetiver by Roger Dove. Um, this is an extraordinary Vetiver that has the beautiful woodiness behind it that I spoke of before, but also the sweetness as well. And they've added an ingredient in the top called citral, which has a beautiful, fresh, green citrus note that comes through. So if you love a fresh vetiver um, with these beautiful citrus type notes in the top, 
Um, there's celery seed. There are so many other raw materials in this. It's, I've always loved this one. It's sensational. It's a classic. And Roger, I mean, oh, Roger, that. It's like. Who are we kidding? Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Gorgeous. Next step down from God in terms of perfumery. I have. So. I have. Said, if, if you guys want to watch my Elysium, I did sort of reference that he was, you know, that Roger was onto the same ingredients that God was using in the Bible. Absolutely. You know, so. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Isn't that stunning? Yeah, I love it. It's so beautiful. And I love that it's it's fresh. It's because sometimes I find that there are some very very that are a little bit heavy, almost leather like. They're yes. A little bit, correct. Whereas you want what? Well, I like those fresh. Especially, well, in the summer, it's glorious. In winter, because the other one that I like, I was surprised you didn't have, is um, in in inimitable Penhaligon. Yes, that's got a bit. That's more of a creamy, correct, woody red, a vetiver that it has in there. All right, next one. The next one is an old favorite of mine, and it's original vetiver by Creed. Gorgeous. I mean, it it is an absolutely stunning fragrance. And when people talk about Creed, you know, there's always that tendency to go to Aventus, which of course is a great fragrance, yep. but this is it gets a overlooked. beautiful mm. sweet vetiver that is often overlooked. Mm. And here you've got notes of mandarin and bergamot. Mm. So you get that beautiful tangerine mandarin sweetness. Yep. And then you go down into a very woody sandalwood vetiver note in the yep. base. Yep. Yep. I love it. I love it. As a vibrant, fresh, Correct. aromatic. And it's like, I describe it as a clean vetiver. Absolutely. Yep. All right, last one. If you want something earthier and smokier, though, I think Costume Nationale Om. Mm. So this is the puff arm version, and it sits at 30%, so really hyper concentrate. And here, which is contrary to the normal trend with vetiver, they've used it in the uh, middle notes right. instead of the base. Right, right, right. And what's the difference? What, what does that do to the... So it brings out the mm -hmm. earthiness a lot sooner. Right. And that leather smokiness as well that you described before. Right. Isn't it gorgeous? I like this one. I do too. I, I'm, I'm familiar with both Roger and Creed, but this one it surprised me. Well, it, it brings on a different take because mm. you've also got cinnamon in there. Funny, I was going to say, there is some sort of sweet, spicy note in there. Correct. But the vetiver earthiness really mm. starts to come forward as the dry down begins. I love all three for mm. different reasons. Yeah. I, th I think Funny, for me, I also find Cree's got a ginger note in there. Correct. Because I'm just getting that slight ginger. Yes, absolutely. Mm. Awesome, mate. How smoky is, and leathery is, is that? This one is beautiful. So um, I'm going to say for summer, you've got your, uh, actually, Rojo could work summer, winter. Absolutely. I mean, um, the Creed one, I'm going to say, is more of a summery, fresh, vibrant. And this one here for us, Aussies coming into winter, the Costume National. Oh, it's spectacular. What was it called, was it called again? Sorry. It's called Om. Om, okay. Om Parfum. Yeah. So this is the Parfum Concentrate. Gentlemen, go check this one out. I think you'll... you'll 198. Go. Forget about it. Extraordinary about price it. point. Thank you to Libertine. Actually, one thing I forgot to mention, so Libertine have also been very kind to me, and they're allowing me to test out the new Starlight and also the new 400. It came out at the start of the year. I'm going to do a bit of a lineup, so I'm going to actually do a proper test drive with it. So um, I'll film it, but then I'll also experience it over three or four days and I'll come back. So I'm going to do a bit of a series on it. So anyway, 400 and, and Starlight, brand new fragrances. I, sm I, I couldn't help myself. I smelled it before. This one here, this one here is pretty special. So I, I look forward to talking about that a little bit more, but that's coming up. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Michael. Thank you very much, Marcello. Thank you, and thank you guys, too. We'll see you guys all in the next Mate Talk. Boom. That's it. <laughs> awesome.